Greetings college algebra students, uh, Captain Rotten here and I'm making this video to help you out on your homework over uh, sections 1, 3, 1, 4. So we're going to talk about uh, these problems, I believe they're all 1, 3 problems, and uh, uh, we're going to take a look at 2, 11, 21, and 28. So if you'll give me a moment here, I've got the uh, problem on another screen. So that second problem says something about the average salary uh, of a master's degree person and a bachelor's degree person. So right away I, I would say this let's um put a couple things on the page to start organizing information we're gonna be talking about a bachelor's degree and a master's degree and I'm just gonna do this right away to start organizing what I'm uh, reading here um, let's see mine says the average salary of an individual whose final degree is a master's degree is 53,000 less than twice that of a bachelor's degree. So what you have to realize is we don't know how much each of these makes. I'll put salary over here. So let's do this. Um, let's say let X equal salary of the bachelor's degree person. And what we need to do now, or, or what you folks need to do, is um, decide how to take that and um, implement that in the information given. So for starters, you'll notice it says combined the two people um, make 121,000. So whatever this is plus whatever this is has to equal 121 grand. So that means that this has to be 121,000 minus X. Furthermore, you know, there's a sentence here that says something like, suppose the average yearly salary of the degree is 53,000 less than twice that of the bachelor's. So you have to use that to come up with some sort of equation, um, some sort of algebraic equation. By the way, now I set this to give random number generators so that 53 that I'm stating might be different in your problem. but. Um, you know, when it says something like 53,000 less than twice that of a bachelor's degree, you, you know, twice that of what we're calling the bachelor's degree and then 53,000 less uh, is equal to whatever uh, this person's making. I mean, I don't want to do every detail of the problem, but you have to be able to read that and uh, write out an expression for it. So not a great description of number two, but hopefully that will get you up, uh, enough to get that done. Let me move on to number 11. Okay, that's gonna take me a moment just to find it. So just stand by. Okay, so looks like uh, this question number 11 is about paychecks here. Oops. So, you know, you have to learn to kind of organize this. Um, the person makes an annual salary of 33725 all right? So this $33,725 is the person's salary. And it says the paychecks are issued twice a month. So they should end up being paid what um, 24 times a year so if that were the case you know if you take their salary and divide by 24 you would get their gross pay per month gross being meaning before taxes and that's what they're asking about in this problem now in addition to this it says there's a holiday bonus of 725 so what you have to do all right you got this holiday bonus of 725 here is uh, think about um, you know what would their total be the total amount they're gonna make every year and it's hopefully reasonably explanatory how to do that and then just divide by the, the number of uh, uh, paychecks I think is all there is to that one uh, next one I'm gonna chat about here number 21 I gotta give me a moment to find it here OK, 
Okay, so number 21, and let me get rid of some of this stuff. Let's see, it says, in a film, a character is criticized for uh, marrying a woman when he, is three th when he is three times her age. Ah, but in 24 years' time, I shall only be twice her age. Let's see, how old are the man and the woman here? So, you know, when you reach, when you get all of these, you know, what you need to do is um, assign variables here. So we got a man right, and a woman. And what we're wondering about is, you know, their ages. So, um, let's see. You know, the unknowns, that's what these are. So typically we assign a variable to one of those. So maybe something like let x equal age of man. And, you know, once you assign a variable, now you have to start interpreting the rest of the problem in terms of your variable. So the next line I read is uh, the woman is three times her age. Whoops. Oh, I'm sorry, where he is three times her age. So if I call this the age of the man and he's three times her age, her age would have to be x over 3. Right? Because notice, you know, three times this would give me this. Now, we could have also called the woman's age as x, and then this would have been 3x. That would have been fine as well. But I'm going to stick with the original here, my original recommendation, or original way I started. So next part of the problem, it says something like, ah, but in 24 years, I shall only be twice her age. Now, in 24 years, his age is going to be x plus 24, right? And this person's age is going to be x over 3 plus 24. Now, the part where he says he would be only twice her age, meaning that if you multiplied this by 2, they would be equal. So, uh, that's just about done for you. I'm going to let you uh, finish that up, but uh, that's the idea on 21. Probably went a little far on that one, but you know, let's talk about 28. If you give me a moment, I gotta find it. Let's see, it says three friends got a prize of money worth $39,000. Okay, so we got three friends here. So let's say, uh, let's say friend one, friend two, and friend three. And they are awarded a certain amount, you know, 39,000 in the example I've been given. Now this is the total here. Now, what we don't know is the amount that each of these got. So what we have to do here is uh, assign a variable to these. I'm going to read this again here. Just give me a moment to decide what's best. Okay, so, you know, as I read this, it says the first one gets twice the amount of the third. The third one got four times the second. So it sounds like the second person got the least amount of money there. So in the interest of kind of avoiding fractions, I think the best thing to do, I'm going to let you know, x equal how much money friend two got. And, I, and I'm doing this recognizing that I believe this one, this person's getting the lowest amount. And what that'll do is it'll, it'll allow us to kind of avoid fractions in this. Now, the third friend got four times what the second got. So you have to think, well, you know, what do I put here? And I don't want to do this. This is your problem. But, you know, if we're calling friend two x and the third guy you know, gets four times that. Think about what would we put here. And then it also says that uh, the first one, that's this one, got twice the amount that the third did. So that means that whatever we put here, in this spot, we're going to put two times that. So at this point, once you get this all figured out, where you have something under friend one, something under friend two, something under friend three, the next is we write an algebraic equation. These quantities have to add to the total. 
and that will allow you to write an equation and solve that for x. So hopefully that will be uh, good enough to get you uh, rolling and get through this homework uh, assignment. Again, don't be afraid. Make sure you call, email, send a smoke signal, carrier pigeon, text, whatever you have to do to get a hold of me if you're having trouble. Right? I'm happy to, happy to help you folks out. Um, anyway, have a great day.